robots the control for this machine, workshop machine. Yeah. We have uh, scrolling words so that you can see what's happening very easily. You may have also information of what are the main parameters of the working machine. So this is the evaporator temperature, the condenser temperature. And we will see also the consumption, this is a very new function, it's 440 watts. And all the message for the high temperature or whatever has happened that uh, was being recorded. The last two events are recorded in this case. With the date, with the time, and, uh, all the information for the HACCP. So, now we will see how to change the set point. It is under password if you like, so that nobody can change it without any permission. It is very easy to do because the, the system will, will speak to you with the scrolling words, so you can change it. 0.1 degree and then you just press OK. The system will ask you to confirm it through the OK key and then it tells you done. And confirms with the with blinking. Now I can show you how this USB function No pen drive, so I, I will put in one pen drive with the adapter for mini USB inside. I may have many functions. The first one is save parameters, so I can upload parameters from the pen drive to the unit, or I can load parameters into the into the I can upgrade server so that I can get new functionalities if they are available or I can download, just download data. Just do this way, the machine will ask me to click OK and data of all the main parameters will start downloading. You can put it to your computer and you can see all the data of working through minute by minute. Up to one month it's stored inside. Now you can see how to manage language. You can change language from Italian, French, German, Spanish and English. You can even put a, a customized language, extra language. You also can have a service menu under password so that you may see, for instance, all the history of the frosties. For the service, it's very useful to see how a machine is going to defrost. You may have all the information on the last two events of defrost. Unless you, you want to see more detailed data, you can get it on the, on the pen drive as I showed you before. And uh, on, the, on the screen you, you, you may see all the defrost events going.